Hello world. I'm Shah and I'm back with a new Dawn of Titans video for you guys. Today we'll be talking about the titans which we earned from last event. And the titans are as you can see in the video on the right side. And I'm going to show you the titans in Hall of Titans also. So the titans we have is Kamathi and the other titan we have is Akivu who is a champion with the poison damage so which is pretty good champion with the poison damage the only titan with poison damage I'm like good poison damage till now we had was Venom Tusk and now we have few more titans who do good poison damage but here are my few concerns with the titans which we have got so I have checked with a lot of I had done my research and checked with a lot of people and what I found out is Kamati all the skills Kamati has are only related with Panthers and if you have if you guys have seen my gameplay and kind of things you'll know I'm not good with Panthers and I don't prefer to choose Panthers though she is a 4 star titan for now at least for now I have no use for her so I might end up using her in my future videos but for now I'm gonna keep her in my hall of titans she's just gonna sit there and we are not going to level her up because I don't see Panthers being very powerful though there are other videos and other people saying like Panthers are buffed up now but I'm not that impressed with Panthers still so they're gonna be the way they are <laughs> I feel like no matter how much we buff and I will have to unlock all the relic slots and skill slots for her I don't think it's worth it I'm gonna save her for future video when once I unlock my other titan Ulrich Ulrich's fourth skill slot I might use Kamati to unlock fourth relic slot or fourth skill slot no fifth I'm in fifth so she's gonna be a titan food unfortunately and that brings us to the second titan who I have from the event Akivu now Akivu is a champion and that's pretty good he's a three star champion I might level up him because his skills are different it's not just panther buff or anything so I will definitely be leveling him up and going forward once I level him up he might end up guarding one of the lands I'll capture in future and it most probably will be one of the VP lands so yeah the goal was achieved so what next is question answered and now let's do some attacks let's see who has attacked us and let's go and attack them uh, it's just 5k VP not worth it for six portal stones yep we are attacking the attacking this land oh let's get our titan first 
defend comac select and defend let's go back and there was a 3k land let's attack that almost 3k 2.8k <laughs> all right let's do this raid yes it's all right I'm gonna take four sets of no only one and pikeman grenadiers spells as usual nope not gonna do that mistake Ulrich overview Wolston okay Wolston is a titan who I want to have in future if I ever get Wolston he'll be my dream titan because he buffs archers and I like to use archers in big battles so my dream titan will be Wolston with archer buff what do you guys think about the new titan please leave your opinion in the comments I'll read it and I'll respond about that in next video all right let's do this okay we have two goliaths in the back so we're gonna start start the fight from the back fight and I'm gonna send the archers here because I don't want them to die now he's gonna go take down the Titan let's move the archers forward oh there's a lightning spell huh trickster <laughs> just kidding here we go quite a bit of pikemen he has here Raise the red, huh? <laughs> Interesting. Get the spell. Move forward. Get the spell. Here we go. We won the battle. And we have three spoils of war. That's super awesome. <laughs> Spearman, Flame Volley, Claw Levy. Nah. Meh. <laughs> Alright. So that was one attack. And yeah. We're gonna attack this land also. One set of archers. Oh, I need to get rid of the troops. That way I can request for troops and other people will be able to get their dailies done I usually never use the backup troops I have snow gore huh Wow, right on time. <laughs> so, who is your d uh, dream titan, guys? Is there any titan who you wish you had or you have and use it in the battles? Let's see what do we have. Nope. 1100. 25. That's pretty sweet. 26. 26. 28. 
Not gonna miss that one. Here we go. Raid. Gonna get rid of all the Goliaths and get some more VP. As we keep going forward, eventually we will start having all 3k lands and it will be awesome. I don't know why my titan is not attacking, he was just standing there for some reason. And after this battle I'll show you what my Ulrich is capable of at level 44 and why I'm excited for him. Uh oh. Come on attack. We lost a set of archers, guys. <laughs> All right. Week one, one star titan. Oh my god. What am I gonna do with one star titan now? <laughs> Something is better than nothing, so. Wait. Two, one, no. Seven. What do we have here? Two seven. All right, looks like it will be difficult to find the find the attacking land. So before I end this video I'm gonna show you my old rick. So that's my old rick right now. He is level 44. He has 94k health and almost 6k damage. He has 20% critical, 40% armor, 5% armor piercing, and he has 100% resistant against physical damage and 36% resistance against ice damage and 60 percent resistant resistance against earth that's why he's pretty good with goliaths he doesn't take any damage with goliaths and i don't need fire resistance as you can see it's 94k health so it doesn't make much of difference and relics what i have equipped i'll show you guys that also The relics which I have equipped on my Titan. So we have Iron Fist, Iron Maze, Iron Maul, and Snow Boots. And if I get a chance, I'll try to forge these and forge these to the maximum level I can. If I take my snow boots to the maximum level I'll have 50% titan resist resistance against ice 40% titan health and 40% pikeman health which we don't need and if I take my iron maul to level 10 which is the max level then we'll have 60% titan physical damage which is pretty good and 30% armor piercing and 30% armor archer armor piercing and one more which I wanna take to max is Iron Mace and for this you get 60% Titan Physical Damage, 22% Titan Critical and 20% Archer Critical. So yeah, down the road I wanna forge these and take to the max levels. So that is it guys I have for you today. I hope you liked this video, if you had, please click like, please leave comments, share and subscribe. 
Shah signing off. Bye-bye, world.